We're the travel couple. We love to travel. We love experiencing what nature has to offer. From national parks to state parks, from rivers to oceans and to lakes, we love it all. From deserts to plains to mountains and everything in between. I'm Zach Chastain, and that's my wife, Deb. Our dog comes everywhere we do. We never leave home without him. We want to show you that it doesn't take a lot to just pack up and go. So come along with us because it's time for another journey. On today's edition of The Travel Couple, we will be taking you to Elephant Rocks State Park. We will be going through Fat Man Squeeze, checking out the rock quarry, and taking a hike through the park to see what exactly it has to offer. Oh hey, welcome back. We're 21 miles away from Elephant Rock. So, just hold your pony and we'll be there shortly. We have arrived. Told you if you would just chill out for a minute, hold your ponies, that we would be here. We're at Elephant Rock. It's in Ironton. And these rocks are like 9.8 billion years old. They're really old. And the reason that they call this elephant rock is because supposedly there are some pink rocks somewhere that resemble elephants from a circus that are holding tails. I don't know. I have yet to see it. Like the last time I was here, I was a little bit kid, so I don't remember. So let's go check it out. Elephant Rock is located in Iron County, Missouri. 14 miles away from here is Johnson Shut-In. an example of where someone can put their fingers across the braille and then that way they know what it says at the top. So this is the granite rocks of this area were found in that part of the Ozarks known as the St. Francis Mountains. Elephant Rock was formed from ice, water, and erosion over time. So basically it was caused from weather, which means there's probably more rocks underneath that will be exposed hundreds of years down the road. As more weather continues to erode the land away, more rock will be exposed. I mean, that's just logic 
in its finest. So, yeah, we're gonna head up this trail and go show you the rocks. So, hang out. We have come to a fork, and I'm thinking that Axel's taking the lead, so I guess we're going this way. It's a pretty curvy trail if you go that way. So let's go and see what's up here. This is heading towards the rock, it appears. Elephant Rock is just one of the many state parks that Missouri has to offer. And what's really cool about Elephant Rock, or Elephant Rocks, I guess, oh, there's a squirrel. What's really cool about this place is it's free. Some state parks cost money, so it's pretty cool that you can go to something like this for free. Oh, going up a rock. And we have to go back down toward the trail, but if you want to do some pictures. These are more jaggedy. See, that's where we'll go up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you coming, Axis? Are you coming? I'm excited to try to find this Fat Man Squeeze. Fat Man Squeeze is a small space in between boulders that you can walk through and stuff. So I'm excited to check that out. It's supposed to be kind of like a slot canyon, but boulders and not, not an actual slot canyon. So but I'm excited. Get a little warm. Like I know it's only in the 60s right now, but it's definitely a little warm, so I may have to shed out of my hoodie. In fact, I think I'm probably going to. Elephant Rock is definitely different. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. 
located 14 feet to your left and 4 to 5 feet high are letters and numbers carved into granite rock. Many quarry workers carved their names and their date into the rock when they became master stone cutters. Interesting. for the faint of heart. I'll take you through it with me. Let's go. Oh, that's a little more open. Let's continue this way. I need to find her. I don't want to get lost. Huh. Okay. I don't know if I can do this. We'll try. Doing it all with one hand. 
because I gotta hold the camera. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. how there's places that you you go and you have to pay and I've, we've also talked about how there's places that you can go and you don't have to pay that are really cool like Garden of the Gods, Lake Powell, Bonneville Salt Flats just to mention a few and Elephant Rock is another really cool place that you can go to and it's free and it's in Missouri like I'm a little out of breath after doing that fat man squeeze that was very, very slot candy. Um, should I go back through it, people? Can we go back through it the other way? I can. Or you want to see more park? This might be all to it. Yeah, Deb just said it pretty much is, so. Yeah, we'll go back through with the Batman Squeeze and see if we can't find some more stuff. We found another portion of another Batman Squeeze. Be able to make it. Axel did the fat man squeeze for a minute, but he had to come back. He got a little nervous in it. Like, he can handle slot canyons better than that, but there's more room in slot canyons than what there is in fat man squeezes. This is where I went in, I believe. Yeah. This one's a little more open. This is a dog friendly park, but there's some areas in it that definitely should uh, be left to people. I'll say that. This place is really, really cool. I mean, if you're a um, local Missouri person, you should definitely come, or if you're coming to like Missouri for vacation, you should come and check this place out. Directly in front of you, a vertical wall falls 30 feet to a water-filled quarry. The water is 40 feet deep. Granite was mined from this quarry to pave streets and construct buildings in St. Louis and other U.S. cities. This is an example of an iron ring. Many of these rings were embedded in the granite rocks. Cables were tied to them to support a big crane boom. The crane removed the heavy granite rocks from the quarry. So far, I would have to give this place an A. Definitely. What do you think? Give it an A? Oh yes, this is an A plus. You could spend at least a half a day. You want to bring a picnic lunch, climb on the rocks, go eat your lunch, and then come back and see what else you can see. Because you will not see everything in a day. Stay. Okay, Maybe you should try to reach around the rock behind you. Alright. Can you guess its weight? Uh, I'd say about 8,500 pounds. That's exactly right. That's as much as a full-size pickup truck or 10,264 cans of soda. Woo! That's a lot of soda. That's a lot of pop. You'd have a kidney stone the size of a, <laughs> that boulder. <laughs> There's a lot to do at Elephant Rock. You can climb up rocks. You can enjoy fat man squeezes if you can fit. You can walk the trails, you can check out the quarry. There's a lot to do here. Throughout Elephant Rock, you'll see logs and branches that are old, but they don't remove them because they go back into the earth. What they do is, you know, like uh, over time, they get weathered and dried out and blah, blah, blah. But um, it provides nutrients to the earth. So basically these logs feed elephant rock. 
We hope you have enjoyed your interpretive walk on the Elephant Rocks Rail Trail through a billion years of geologic time, from the first volcanic activity through nature's natural forces to the present Elephant Rocks and their historical, economic, and recreational use to man. See you next time.